Well, hello. Getting is I can't tell. Are we getting an early start or a late start? One of the two. Who knows? Well, it's Wednesday. And I almost didn't stream again. But hey, I went ahead and did it. <clears throat> um, oh, wow. I wanted to show everyone the piece. I finished it up yesterday. Let me, no, I finished it up earlier today. Let me pull it up so you can see. Hey, Diamond, how you doing? Always good to see you. I was thinking about you the other day, Diamond. I was like, you know what? We don't do... Haven't really done much with United Adventure Company. I wonder what old Diamond is up to. Oh, wow. Come on. Okay, here we go. I'll show you this real fast. Here we go. I finished it up yesterday. No. What I keep saying yesterday. Today. Day by day. Everybody, day by day. Alright, so this is the finished piece from... What was it? Last... Uh, you know when it was. Let's see if I can straighten it up a little bit. Get it, get it like a little, a little. Oh, that's not gonna work. Okay, here we go. I got the gradient tool to work. Got ego in there. Put some, put some stuff between the teeth. So, there we go. Thank you. All right, now let me load up the new today. All right. So, well, I guess I jumped the gun. I should say hello. I'm Jesse Craig, a.k.a. Ego Rabbit, creator of... I, I, I fancy myself a cartoon illustrator, so I create cartoony kind of things. Um, so I don't like to do realism because I'm not trying to fool you into that. I'm not trying to fool you into the idea that I'm making reality. No, I'm not making reality. I'm making nonsense. Um, you can check out all the nonsense at charismakills.com. That's the website and also there's links to all the various little social media dealios. Um I really need to update that website. Can't think of anything else, so why don't we just jump right? Oh, today, what are we gonna do? I don't know, I have no idea what to do today. Then I got a little bit of an idea from a Facebook post earlier today. Uh, someone had Mark Gillery actually had posted uh, an image of Fozzie Bear dressed like the Punisher, and it was the pun is sure. Well, it reminded me of Boris the Bear, because Boris the Bear, from a long time ago, Boris the Bear was the first comic I ever started collecting seriously. Uh, it's like the second comic ever produced by Dark Horse Comics. Anyway, there was an issue where he actually wore a Punisher costume and he went out. It was so long ago, I don't remember the actual story, but all I remember... He was wearing a Punisher costume. Uh, I'm not going to do a Punisher costume, Boris. I'm just going to just do a Boris. I don't know. We'll see. And again, I'll warn you like I always do. I'm not the best at using this digital drawing with digital media. Uh, I do much better drawing on paper. But my wife said this is what people want to see. So that's what we're going to see. All right. No, let's switch over to a pencil. Come on, pencil. Uh, should be a pencil here. Oh, recents. The Procreate pencil. All right. So, we'll see if I can remember Boris here. I'm probably not going to do him exactly like James Dean Smith. Uh, 
All right, I don't know if I'm gonna do a full body. Let's see, I don't know. Oh, I can turn the page this way. Yeah, let's turn the page this way. All right, now let's get started. Okay, I'm on my pencil layer here. Figure out how I gotta remember the shape of Boris's head. Let's just do round right now. Well, this is kind of close. All right. Um, and the body, he really doesn't have a neck. So, this is going to be sort of from the, an homage to Boris the Bear number one. I can't, I don't know if I can get it all right. Boris the Bear slaughters the teenage mutant radioactive fuzzy ninja it's he goes crazy and he kills like every because this is back in the 80s during the time when everything was a mutant something or another and he got tired of it it's kind of ironic because he's an anthropomorphic bear but you find out later i guess james dean smith was like hey this is kind of ironic because boris is an anthropomorphic bear but anyway Yeah, so you find out, like, in the next issue, Boris is actually a robot. He was built as, like, a teddy bear for, oh, I can't remember Dave's last name, but the character, main character's name is Dave. Well, Boris is the main character. But... Hmm. I'm liking that. No, I think I want to. Yeah, I kind of want to do a bigger head. I kind of want to do it bigger. So let's. Uh, no. Might not be able to do it bigger. Anyway, I'm sure you could find Boris the Bear. If you're unfamiliar with Boris, and good luck finding the comics. But. All right. Oh, he also met Jack Kirby. And Jack Kirby, because he had to go fight robots. So Jack Kirby appeared and gave him this uh, fountain, this inking pen. And it was... I'm sorry. It wasn't an inking pen. It was a can opener. And it's called the Cosmic Can Opener. So... That's right. Jack Kirby gave Boris the Bear a cosmic can opener to destroy robots. Right, let's get some eyes in here. Nose. Uh. Let's get his chin in there. Alright. That might be a little big, so let's shave some of that off. Let me increase the size of this eraser. That's right, Boris the Bear has ears. Alright. I don't think I'm making his head fat enough, actually. Alright, let's go ahead and get these eyes working in here. Or sends to be an angry, an angry bear. 
<clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to start this whole. Coffin like I'm. Uh. All right, let's give him his bandana. He wears a bandana like Rambo. This was back in the 80s. Ah. There we go. And let's go up. I don't know why, but his bandana is the hardest thing for me to draw. It always has been. I just don't feel like I've got this head quite right. That's a little better. Oh yeah, I was working on that knot. Let's get this hair in here. Hmm. The ear might be a little high. I think that's doing it. I think that's pretty damn close. All right. I'm going to move this out of the way. I can't see. There you go. Sorry. All righty. Maybe this is screwing with me. It's been at least a year since I've drawn Boris. All right. Um, let's just go with that. So, yeah, let's get this mouth. Uh, even that cartooning mouth. The angry cartoon mouth. No, I don't like that. I don't know. This is not looking the way I want it to look. I'm not going to quit, though. Don't worry. I think that might be it. Oh, that mouth is nasty. Let's fix this. I got I to gotta fix it. Let's go with that for now. Okay, gun. Gun. Oh, I didn't do the... Well, I can do the knot later. Let's, let's just do the gun. Alright. He's not muscular, but his... If I remember, James Dean Smith does draw his arms... Ooh, I'm not liking it at all. Maybe I need to go out a little more. Oh. Ooh, this is horrible, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, I 
really do not like that. You know, I think I might be happier if I finish this face because I think the face is really messing with me. All right, let's go ahead and make an ink layer. <clears throat> let me let me do this face. Uh, I may have his head actually not bad enough. But, oh well, let's go with this. But hey, I said already I'm not doing exactly like James Dean Smith would do. Let me increase the size of this pen. Yeah, I yeah, I think his nose needs to be higher up on his face. That's what that might be throwing me off too. That's a little too high. There we go. I'm not digging those eyes at all, though, I'll tell you that. I'm going to have to fix those. Probably going to turn the... Alright, let's turn the pencil layer off so I can see this. Uh, not bad. Not bad, but not good. Let's... You know, I recently got, well, I say recently, it was a couple years ago, probably two years ago. I actually got in touch with James Dean Smith about Boris the Bear. Because I would love to see more Boris. Oh, you know, I'm just taking a look. I need to take a look at this. To make sure, I don't know. I'm not. I'm just not digging. I, I think I really got his head too long, but all right. Uh, 
He's just he's just looking like a cartoon bear and not so much Boris the bear, I think. Oh, that might help. It's a little better, still kind of wacky dude looking. Let's see if I can do something about that. Alright. Whoa! Wrong button, yo. see if that works that's got it that's got it eraser yikes eraser too big All right, there we go. All right, let's get some detail in here. I'll be happier when I get the detail in. <clears throat> That's right, he has little whisker dots. Right. Okay. Hmm. Nah, I don't like that. Nah, I don't like that. Also, Boris was a black and white comic. Um, I think that actually is where... That and Ninja Turtles is where I got my love for, like, indie black and white comics. There we go. It's coming together now. Whew. I was getting worried. You know, Eastman and Laird's original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And of course, it's I gave Jimbo. Alright, let's get this mouth in here. Turn this layer back on. Whoops, <laughs> I drew on the freaking pencil layer. Ah. Uh. Which kind of sucks because I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I think I actually liked what I had. Let's 
let's see. A little better, a little better. All right, now let's get to that damn body. Ah, oh. switch back to my pencil. Yeah, I actually can. It was just easier for me to redo it. As far as the mouth goes. Because I can use the circle, uh, the, the the lasso select tool. I don't know what they call it here, but in Photoshop, I think it's lasso select. I can use it and circle it and move individual things around. Put them on new layers, crap like that. All right. Of course, for some reason, I have magenta now. I don't know why that is, but oh well. Let me just get this arm finished. There we go. I think that's it. Going in here. All right, I think I've got that. He's got a big old butt. Like in the comic they pick on him. I think I think they pick on him about his butt if I remember correctly. Like he's got a teddy bear pear shaped body. I know my underdrawings are sloppy as hell. I apologize. All right. Uzi. Uzi has a clip coming down. Come on now. And then... Got the handle right here. So we're gonna have to increase this hand. 
There we go. We got the grip. <clears throat> In the 80s, action stars and Uzis. I don't know why. Comic people and Uzis. I can't remember if the bullets fly out of the top or the side. Well, I mean, I know they, not the bullet, the casing, the casing. I know where the bullets come out, guys. Race, race, race. Draw, draw, draw. Alright. Let's see. This belt comes down. And then. There's another one here. Alright. Oh boy, I had to pick this this pose. I am shit at drawing hands like this. But hey, it's practice, right? And it's a cartoon, so I don't gotta Alright, let's go into the ink layer and see what that's gonna look like in ink studio pen. Alright. Don't worry, I don't, I'm going to I'm going to draw through the drawing, but don't worry, I'll erase. All right, I think that's it. Whoops. All right, let me draw the gun line here. All right. Okay, arm. Finish this off. Here we go. He's really supposed to be more chubby. Than muscular. I'll fix that later. All right. There we go. All 
All right. Wow. Okay. Let's figure this hand out. It is not going to be pretty. I'm telling you now. So I apologize in advance. That might be all right. We'll see when we turn the pencil layer off. I actually like Clip Studio for when it comes to drawing guns because I can use the ruler. This is cool too because I can if you just hold the line once you draw it it'll straighten out if you need a straight line or it'll make a circle if you need a circle. All right, speaking of lines, Uzi's got lines. That's crap. Better just draw them like so. All right. All right, here's where we're going to get in trouble. Maybe not. You know, I need to figure out a way to set a camera up at my drawing table so I can share when I draw non-digital. Which you should be warned for that too because boy, that's sloppy. That can get sloppy. All right. Uh, I have no idea how to tie these belts together. Maybe I'll draw something like this. Okay. Well, it didn't curve. I wanted it to curve. Okay, I don't know why it's not curving. Oh, well. Curve it my damn self. Curve it my damn self. Now it curves. You <laughs> rat bastard. And some of the line, the line weight may not be right. And I will fix that when... I will fix that when I turn off this pencil layer. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Um, <clears throat> it's going to turn the pencil layer off. Well, not bad. Probably should just. I will fix that when I get to. When I get to somewhere, I don't know. Oh. So, hey, how about that? Uh, what we do in the shadows, huh? Saw the last episode a little while ago before I started streaming. 
pretty funny. It was cool seeing Nandar actually fight. Because in the earlier episodes, they like he's a, they say he's a warlord and he's badass. So it was cool to see him use that sword right. Right. <clears throat> okay, I guess if you want to see what horse really looks like, you can do you can Google it. It looks close. For you know, I'm just uh, I haven't drawn Boris in so long. Oh, that's right, his sword. He has a ninja toe. But I can't remember if he started off with it or if he got it when he killed Leonardo. Change with Ninja Turtles, yes. Whoops, that is wrong. Screw that up. Here we go. Oh, he may have took Usagi's sword. Because as much as I... <clears throat> as much as I love Usagi, it was... It was entertaining. Now, of course, they didn't call them Usagi and Leonardo. It was parodies. I think they called uh, Usagi Harikari hair. And the turtles were the adolescent. Oh, I can't remember this. Adolescent something. Adolescent amphibian something or others. All right, well, not the best, not the best, Boris, but he's there. Um, let's see a little detail on this belt. Oh, All right. <clears throat> Owen oh, Colin. If you haven't seen the new season, I guess I shouldn't talk about it. But... I should be using a different pencil so I don't have to. A different brush so I don't have to keep. Let's see. Let's try this.
Mm, I don't like that at all. Let's just go back to what I was doing. Well, that music sort of sounds like it's reminded me of. For some reason, it reminded me of the Peanuts, Charlie Brown. All right. How much time do we got? Oh, we're running out of time. I would color it, <clears throat> but again, we're running out of time. So let's see. You need to adjust these long ways. That might be too much. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit much. Oh, well. Well, let's get some details in on this guy. I think the gun is kind of crooked. All right, let's get some. Some dark areas in here because Boris is a black and white comic, of course. They did do color classics. There we go. Get the line weight on this head a little heavier. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. <clears throat> so get this here. Oh man, my voice went out. I don't know what the deal it is. <clears throat> All right. 
So there we go. There is Boris the Bear. That is my take on Boris the Bear. It could be a lot better. And I may work on it again. I may work on it off stream and then share it with you all. Because I see some things that I could do to fix it. But out of time. Maybe. What, 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 what? I better stop there. All right. <clears throat> Want to see a time lapse? Just do time lapse. It's pretty crazy. Look. Oh, oh, that's just some shit I was there uh, messing with. Ah, oh, it's gonna take forever. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't think about that. Oh well. I tell you what, I'll share the time lapse. I'll share a 30 second time lapse on the social, on the old social media in a little bit. All right, I really need to stop before I screw this up. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I need to put, uh, put the old John Hancock on it. Although I don't know why I just don't sign my name. Ah, uh, get it. Alright, this is... This is not an original character of mine. This is Boris the Bear. Created by James Dean Smith. There we go. Let's go back to the old webcam. Alrighty. There it was. We did Boris the Bear. Needs a little work. I'll work on it and I'll show you later. Show you on Monday. Monday. So, alrighty. Um, I would share a website for Boris the Bear, but there is none. Uh, and James Dean Smith just dropped off. The only thing I knew he had was Facebook. And his Facebook is gone, so... So just a Google search of Boris the Bear, Dark Horse Comics, Nick Attack Comics, and I think he eventually changed the name to Malibu Comics, but he took it he, he took it from Dark Horse and went home because Dark Horse is creator on comics, right? Anyway, so you can check out my stuff again at uh, charismakills.com. There's our little social medias. I'll probably put this up on Facebook. Uh, if you if you, if that interests you, you can check that out. Um, I guess a little progress report on Weird. It's it's still going. It's, it's slow because I am one person and it's about two hundred and something pages, if not three hundred. Um, got the character sheet pretty much finished. Like the second sheet is pretty much finished. Um, chapter one. I found a couple things I wanted to add to chapter one. And. Right now, I'm pretty much working on the setting material and the Game Master section. So, other than that, it's just chugging away at artwork. Just chugging away at artwork. <clears throat> Damn. Alright, well, I better not uh, drag this out, right? So, we'll see you Monday. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, Diamond, if you're still there. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Maybe we'll get on the United Adventure Company and do some games together again soon. Um, the next test play of Weird should be coming up in another month or so. <sighs> I have the game for your group semi-outlined. And then I thought of a new idea, totally different, so... I don't know. So one of them will be for you, and one of them will be for the other group. Oh, and for those of you who want to know what the hell I'm talking about, you can share yours nice enough to link it in the chat. Um, 
You can also go to United Adventure Company on YouTube and you can see playtests of that. And you can also see edited versions of these streams on YouTube at Charisma Kills TV. All right. Good night, everyone. Thanks for joining. Thanks for hanging out.